Hello everybody, welcome. Right, I'm just sitting down. I've got this parcel, uh, as you've seen from the title. Excuse my squeaky chair, by the way. Uh, this is the Born Pretty PR. We've got ooh, a solid cream gel. I've not had one before. I've not had a solid cream gel from anybody. Look at the colours. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to try this one. Uh, and they sent me a brush. They said, have you got a brush? I said, well, not a Born Pretty one anyway. They sent me this. Um, but it's not a printed one or anything, it's just generic, but a kind of square on the front. So I'll try that or I might try uh, one of the ones that I've got that came with poly gel. That might do it. And uh, if I try and get in this. So, solid cream gel, four colours. There's quite a lot of different um, formats that you can get. Uh, different colourways. So I'll put a picture up on screen anyway. Uh, my husband's run off with me to eat with us. Oh, got him. Ooh, they're nice. Lovely. Right. Let's watch those. What, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at everything we've got and then I'll decide what we're going to do with them. So this is a solid nail tips gel. Uh, Colour 01. Which I think is a pink, so I've got to get into that one. I'll get into all of these. Oh, look at that. Can you see through there? That looks nice. Purple! I didn't have any purples. Purple and pink. And then this other one is another oh shiny glitter painting gel. Oh, be able to do something with these, surely. Right, back in a minute when I've opened them all up. Right, so these are from the Black Spa series. And I've got numbers 124 and 125. So I'm going to try these. Uh, on these little tips because I like to keep them on my bottles. So we'll do those first. I've not base coated because uh, I don't want to waste base coat. I'll give these a little, a little check. I don't know whether it makes any difference. I'm not sure if checking them makes a difference now they don't have little metal balls in them. Right, so let's do one, two, four. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Oh, that's like a neon fuchsia magenta, not magenta, uh, fuchsia hot pink. It's not the thickest I've ever used. I, th I love the consistency because you've got all that coverage without it being really thick. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that with one coat. Wow. Oh, it's definitely, if you could see it under the lamp, it's definitely neon. Uh, and this one is one, two, five. Beautiful colour. <gasps> Cadbury purple. Or um, it's a very, <clears throat> let's say, a royal purple colour. Oh, I love that. I love that. One colour. Uh, one coat, should I say. Fabulous. Um, let's do these on the sticks now. So we've got the 
Right, solid nail tip tail, we'll just have a look at the colour. I can get in it. Where's my doublet? Um, mm -hmm. There we are. I've got these like really old manicure scissors to get into these things. Oh, beautiful, beautiful pale pink. Wow, that's nice. All right, so I can do something lovely with that. We'll, we'll probably get Eve out and stick some nails on with that. And then the shiny glitter painting gel, that's the ingredients on the top if you want to have a look. Okay, and what number? Rose tinted. Let's just wipe that one off first. That is beautiful. Okay, so swatch stick for that one. Look how thick it is. That is gorgeous. Yeah, I think my brush is a bit stiff, even though I've conditioned it. that and then see what it's like. So I'm going to condition this brush a bit. That's it. That's softened it up. Okay, that's at the ready, but I'm going to just give these a quick uh, base coat to give it a fair, give it a fair crack. Okay, in it, that's a good start. See how much you need of that down a little bit. Tiny bit would give you like for milk bath nails. Okay, that's that one. Number two, we'll do this peachy one. Oh, I like that. It's like a, that would be nice on your nail bed. It's like a jelly, jelly look with just one coat. Let me see. 
I like that. Uh, the next one, go for the pink. It's a nice shade, it's quite jelly-like so far. That is like cranberry juice. Right, so I'll cure these and then we'll have a look with another coat on. Okay, so that's the four colours with two coats. So, less opaque on the dark one and these three beautiful staple colours. But you can make a nice set out of just that one palette. And all together, got that glitter with it, and the bright pink, and the purple. Ooh, decisions, decisions, right. <laughs> I'll come back when I've decided what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do you a quick little set and um, I'm going to use the pink of the solid uh, uh, gel tips gel uh, and use the pink of that for the nail bed and then I'm going to use the creamy milky white from the palette and then I can't resist doing full nails in the uh, glitter. I know it's a painting gel so you can use it with your liner brush. Uh, and paint whatever you want round the edges, butterflies, smile lines, whatever. But I want to see more of it, so I'm going to put uh, put it on a full nail, and I'm going to do something a bit different in the application with one of them with the glitter. So we'll see. Uh, but it's quite solid, this. So your nail sticks to it lovely. It sticks to your nail. It's not moving anywhere. Look, and I suffer a lot when I'm trying to use these things with base um, or you know, using a base gel or uh, a sort of runnier builder gel or anything like that. Uh, it's a bugger with it moving, but this I can put it on and it's going to stay there while I get it in the lamp. So these two here, you can see that one of them, I've done it on the little finger, so it just comes to the end of where your natural nail would be. That's absolutely fine. But on this one, I've kind of extended the nail bed with it. Um, and one thing I realised I should have done later is I should have probably just put a 10 second cure on just to make sure the tip was stuck on. Turn the hand over and then smooth the underside a little bit. Uh, because when you see me top coating this glitter you'll see um, it's sticking up a bit. Now if it was on my own nails I'd just get my e-file out and just smooth it down. But um, for this I think I should have smoothed it up past the glitter a little bit more. You'll see anyway when I turn it over. Um, but I'm just putting this glitter onto the bottom uh, and then I'm going to cure it. And then we'll get it attached to the nail bed with the solid tips gel. Now, if you've got gloves on and you tried to do that, you'd get stuck to it. So my recommendation is use your silicone tool if you want to push it to one side or move it around in that pot, use a silicone tool because it won't stick to it. 
um, I don't know whether it would stick with natural, uh, with you know, skin. I don't know whether it would stick to your skin if you did that, but you wouldn't want to put your skin in it anyway, would you? So use a silicone tool if you want to move it about, make a little ball with it. So can you see underneath there? It's sticking up a little bit. So what I should have done is turned it over and smoothed that down a bit, like you would with the polygel or something like that. But that's only because I've obviously extended the nail bed with it. So. So that's that. So now I'm trying to decide. So because it's rose tinted, I'm going to bring some rose uh, stickers in to kind of carry that theme on. Um, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of buff on the sides. Plastic tips, I also think the edges aren't that sparkling. Um, so a little bit of a buff and buff on top and then I'll base coat it and uh, ready for some more glitter. Wipe it off with some alcohol. Now when I wiped it off with this, it kept going cloudy look and I've no idea why. I brushed the dust off first and then I wiped it with this. Whether it's something off the cloths, they're supposed to be lint free, but oh, the bloody awful things, I think they kind of melt. Um, don't even remember where I'm going from, but the rubbish. So if you can recommend me any lint free ones that are actually lint free, that would be marvellous. <laughs> So, um, because it clouded over, I've just gone in with uh, a coat underneath as well as on the top. I love this, this milky white. I just think it's beautiful. I think it's really attractive. So, because you've got the pink on the nail bed, you could do that and leave that nail as it is, so you can see the nail bed through it. I think it's really pretty. Now I'm going to make the pinky all milky white and then the middle finger I'm going to just paint the end so like for a fringe. So I've not bothered with um, a liner brush and I should have done really but I didn't. Um, my first intention was that I was going to paint a line around there with the pink uh, glitter, the rose tinted glitter gel. But I decided I wasn't going to do that. I was going to put uh, stickers on and I was going to use the glitter all on the first finger and the index finger. Does any of this make sense or am I just waffling? <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a bit hot. I think it's about uh, 24 degrees here in the UK, which is quite a rarity for us. We're not geared up for hot weather. Some of you will be sat there in hot climates thinking, oh, what are you on about? That's nothing. But we have no air con or anything. And uh, little windows in his houses usually. Um, so I've not got much of an air flowing through. And um, let's say I'm getting a bit damp doing this voiceover because I don't want to put my fan on. So that's why I've sped it up to twice the speeds. A, so that you're not watching forever. Uh, and be so I can go and stand outside. <laughs> I'm a right wimp. I'm either too cold or too hot. Anyway. Oh. Come on, make a decision. No. Shall I put it there? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh dear. I had a bit of a job with that then, because I think as I stuck it down and picked it up again. Uh, it didn't want to stay down, but we persevered. Persevered with that. So I just cut that little overhang off uh, and then do a base in the top coat to secure that. Here we are with this beautiful painting gel. Ooh. Look at the coverage though, it's just amazing. The other one I've got in this is the chrome. Um, some of these are glitter and some of them are just, a, a, um, I don't know how to say it other than they've got no glitter in. So 
this, uh, like a chrome and a gold and then the, the glitter ones. So all I've got on these were really small roses or humongous massive things. So I've cut that one in half uh, and decided to put it halfway down there. So that's that. So once again, can I thank you all for watching and um, for leaving comments. You know if you're watching a video that's old, that's like from a year ago, please still leave a comment because I will still get it. I know I know it's been on a while, but if it's new to you watching, then I'd still like to know what you think. So that would be lovely. Um, and if you want to help me out at all in any way, have a quick click on that like button. That would be lovely. Or the not like, whichever you prefer. Um, so I'm going to top coat over these and uh, we'll have a look at them and uh, finish them off. Simple, nothing too fancy today. Oh, there we are. That's with the um, rose tinted and the colour from the palette and solid tips nail gel so just the three colours and a bag of stickers and look I love these I could wear these oh. thank you very much for watching don't forget the uh, details are in the description box below. See you later. Love you loads. Bye. Mm -hmm.